Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name is Marina and today I'm going to be solving a problem for your PE transportation exam. The problem states like this. The Department of Transportation produced a daily traffic report for certain urban arterial street X as shown in the table below. A group of engineers is conduct conducting a similar study for another arterial street Y in the same city, where a total of 9,425 vehicles were registered on Thursday. What is the approximate estimated average daily traffic volume for the second street? So we are giving um, the daily traffic counts on Uberne Street X uh, for Sunday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and during 24-hour uh, volume. We got this, right? And we are asked to estimate the average daily traffic volume for the second street. Okay. We were given that um, the number of vehicles on street X on Thursday is equal 10,320 and the number of vehicles on street Y on Thursday is equal 9,425 so we can estimate the ratio the proportion between the number of vehicles on the street Y on Thursday and on the street um, X. So we can see that this ratio is going to be 9,425 divided by 10,320. We're going to find that the ratio is 0 0.913. And uh, we can now calculate um, calculate the average daily traffic volume for a street x um, so we can calculate the average daily traffic as um, the summation of each uh, count for each day divided by the total number of days just a, an average so let's uh, do that let's put these values here 6890 plus 11785 plus 8,280, plus 9,330, plus 10,320, plus 10,200. So all of these divided by seven days. And we're going to find that our average daily traffic for a street X equals um, 9,518.57. And now we can estimate our average daily traffic for a street Y, which is going to be the ratio that we calculated times our average daily traffic for a street X. So our ADT Y is going to be 0 0.913 times 9518.57 we're going to find out that our average daily traffic for street y is 8693.07 what gives us the uh, correct answer as alternative b um, this concludes this uh, solution i hope you learned a lot and i see you next time